Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. I forgot to show you my gizmo. <laughs> oh well, I'm outside. Forget it, I'm not going back in. Ugh. Waiting for Pete and Terry to come, our couple who clean our house for us. Some of our favorite people. <laughs> the chair's back from the table. Aura sat here yesterday to be in the sun, and we were out here on the deck for quite a while. It was very nice. Our hummingbird feeder, Dennis found our hummingbird feeder one hour after he bought and ordered another one. <laughs> That's how it works here. But we decided to not cancel the order because we have talked about having two. They're, you know, our hummingbirds are very territorial, and we have a couple that last year that came and when a third hummingbird kept trying to eat they were like having none of that that poor little bird got beat up so anyway we thought if we had two that might be okay also this one is quite faded the red um, flowers around the holes are very faded if it's the actual color red that attracts the hummingbirds to the feeder we're doomed Although Dennis says, don't you have any red acrylic paint you could do? And in fact, I do. I don't know if you OGs remember a couple years ago, I got a paint advent um, or an art advent and it had acrylic paint in it, including red. Now I have never used actually anything from that advent. I don't, I've never tried acrylic and I actually have, you know, five colors or something like that. I have no idea where they are, but I could find them, I'm sure. I'm sure I didn't throw them away. I could find them, and uh, I'm sure we have red. And the dogs are very excited because Pete and Terry are here. I'm pausing you. Maisie's out here with me now, right? You out here with me. She's very excited. Oh, a lot of logistics when Pete and Terry come because the dogs go crazy for them and of course they can't do anything with the dogs around so they do the upstairs first so we block the steps uh, we went while they're coming in the dogs are outside we let the dogs back in after they're upstairs and block the steps so they can't be up bother them anyway so we have about an hour hour and a half to finish straightening up <laughs> downstairs <laughs> till they come and do the downstairs it's such a lovely gift from aura this is aura's gift to us to uh, have cleaners come once a month and it is a gift it really is a gift I do not like to clean I mean I so I sweep and swish a toilet in between but I do not do very much I do not do very much I don't do much of anything at all, as you might have noticed if you've ever watched my blog before. <laughs> I started a new book. I'm almost done with it, but I put it down last night. Actually, I put it down twice because I got an idea for starting a painting, so I put my book down and I started my painting. I'm going to show you what I did yesterday. It's just the beginning, but I'll show you. So just the beginning, but I was surprised because I rarely stop. I mean, Dennis was talking to me and I didn't even hear him because I was reading. So I, you know, but I just came to my mind. I wanted to try something. So I stopped and did this. This is the first layer of a landscape. And I thought it turned out pretty good. I have no idea if you can see it well or not <laughs> because you know I don't know if that's going to help but that that's a little more in the sun <laughs> anyway ah, earthquake and then I stopped to go to sleep because it was time so, but I don't have very much left. It's the second book of the Cornish Mysteries. 
The first book was like 99 cents or free. I'm not sure on Barnes and Noble. The second book was $12. So I put it in my cart, but I didn't buy it the other day because I thought $12 seems high. No, it's not. Of course, I got the first one for free, so that's really $6 each. And I got to find out if I thought I would like it or not, you know, so that's worth something. But anyway, so I'm out on Barnes & Noble, and I'm like, well, what else is out here? So I, you know, searched on Regency Mystery or, you know, whatever, or Cozy Mystery. And they have a bazillion books, of course, many of them that look, I mean, I don't know how many of these are self-published. Could be quite a few of them. The covers, a lot of the covers are very cartoony. But anyway, mo for the most part, the first book in a series was either free or 99 cents. So I'm out there searching saying, oh, well, this might be interesting free. This might be interesting free. Uh, this is, a, you know, the first four books, 99 cents. Okay, let me try that. You know, that kind of thing. So I ended up getting 13 books for $14. <laughs> and I felt like that was a real bargain. <laughs> Even though this one book was $12. <laughs> you know how you, this is, you know, this is how I fool myself. But anyway, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the second book in the Cornish Mystery series. I think, I don't know how many more there are, but you know. By Carola, Carol, or Carola, Carola. I forget her last name, Dunn, maybe. <sighs> Spring on my deck. There's a spider walking on my camera. There's a spider walking on the umbrella right here. I saw one float by. There's something about this spot. These are tiny baby spiders. This, where we have our table, our environment. I don't know where the spiders come from, but we hatch baby spiders in the spring, somewhere around here, and they're always landing on me or my things. I just blew it off. Uh, but I have no, I mean, they just kind of appear. They're like floating around so that it must be someplace high in the eaves or something is a spider's nest. Now, I'm not a big fan of spiders in the house, although, you know, I understand that it's okay and that they eat things, bugs, other bugs, but I'm fine with spiders in the wild. I don't like them landing on me. I always get rid of them. <laughs> I don't kill them, but I get rid of them. But I'm a big proponent of insect life outside. <laughs> I think we should have as many insects as we can. I don't love mosquitoes. I won't kid you. Um, and I do kill mosquitoes. If they land on me, they get it. Even if I'm outside. But other than that. Oh, and wasps. We had wasp nests in our house last year or the year before and so I'm not a you know if we have wasps nesting in our house we're gonna kill them too so it's not like I don't ever kill things we have anyway I just blew the spider away because the spiders welcome to live a happy life on our deck as long as he doesn't come on me but it happens every spring these tiny little spiders and I assume that they're just babies and they'll get bigger anyway there you go my life on the deck I spent a lot of time on the deck yesterday it was beautiful we had our dinner on the deck oh we tried nachos with our crisps our cottage cheese crisps they turned out really good now I think I told you that I wasn't as big a fan of these crisps as Dennis and Aura because of the sort of a, te a texture at the end that I wasn't a fan of. But having them with 
cheese melted over top of them and dipped in salsa. They were good. They were good. I mean, <laughs> uh, I, they were in the oven for two hours, so it's not something you're going to do every day. But it was nice to say, you know what? I got an urge for, I'm going to, I want to have nachos tonight. And, you know, relatively easily make that happen. And it was fun. So that was good news. We, Dennis made uh, sort of taco meat and ground, ground beef and we had salsa and sour cream and cheese and olives. I'm the only one who ate the olives. Um, so we're having taco salad tonight because we had lots of meat left over. So we don't have any avocado. If I feel an urge, I might go to the store, but I don't know that I really care. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to finish my book, I'm sure. I'm going to think about my painting and see where it goes. And <laughs> Excuse me while I blow on you. That spider did not leave my camera. All right, my phone. Uh, oh, I blew right into that. Oh, I think the microphone is on the other end. Sorry about that. It just went on the other side, apparently. Go ahead. Come down the front, and then you can show everybody on the internet. Go ahead. He's walking on the top now. Anyway. So, having Pete and Terry here feels like an all-day project, even though they're only here two and a half, three hours. But, you know, you know what I mean. Um... So Aura's upstairs. She'll come down when they're gone. And we'll probably be outside unless it gets to... Um, it's possibly going to rain this afternoon. So we'll see how much she gets out on the deck. Dennis is, wants to do a quick little schlep of the lawnmower around the backyard. Some of this grass gets really high and it's going to get too high and he wants to do something about it. So I'm going to... I'm going to try to just stay here a little bit longer because I swear that spider wants to get in the... <laughs> nah, he's walking on the edge of the phone. Anyway, so I woke up in a not great space. I did not sleep well and I had disturbing dreams and that was, you know, so I didn't wake up feeling very good. Oop, he just jumped off. Oh, he came back. He jumped off on his web string. He just came back. Go ahead. Keep walking over there. You're gonna get on the you're gonna get on the video. Keep it up. Keep it up. Anyway. <laughs> I'd show you a picture except he's on my camera. <laughs> um I, I interrupt myself. Oh, I was telling you about I didn't. So I, so I didn't wake up in sort of a good headspace, and I was tired, and you know whatever. So, um, but I did a couple things. I organized a couple things, made a plan with our friends. So I have a date set. Or got a notification for a, an all class reunion at her high school. Um, she grew up in a small town in Pennsylvania, Hummelstown. And uh, Garland was the principal of the high school that she went to. She married her principal after she graduated. Um, and it was a small town, small high school. And right around, um, so let's see, Russell would have been born like in 43. So, like in 1960, Pennsylvania did a big consolidation of school districts, and they made all these giant school districts, and these all, so all these little towns who had their own school systems consolidated with the schools, the townships around them, and got together. So, I think about 1960, that high school stopped functioning as a high school because they consolidated the school district and um, closed that high school. So 
this reunion is for anybody who graduated before 1960. Although I think Russell has been invited and he was the first class that did not graduate. Russell is Dennis's uncle or his brother. He's 12 years younger than her. He's like 81 now. Um, 82, 81. And he was the first class that didn't graduate from this high school. So anyway, these are going to be a lot of old people at this reunion, let me tell you. The spider, I don't know. Hold on. But it wouldn't surprise me if Aura was the oldest. Of course, that Garland used to be invited. They used to, they've been going to these for a long time. It's been a, quite a few years since she went to one. But, you know, Garland was the, the principal, so of course he was invited. And she graduated from there, so. Anyway, that's the end of June. So that's been organized, and anyway... I'm rambling now. I'm distracted by this spider. Come on, you want to get on my finger and I'll show you them. You want to get on my finger? Oh, no, he jumped down. There he is. Tiny little spider. Oh, have you seen those close up pictures of their faces? They're horrifying. <laughs> They're horrifying to look at. And ants? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Thank goodness they're so small. <laughs> All right, I'm done. The spider is no longer on my phone, so I'm going to go in. <laughs> Take my picture and my coffee and go in. Anyway, today will be one of those days, and I, and I won't have anything to talk about tomorrow, but that won't stop me. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please, please stay safe and stay sane.